Tonight, we continue looking into the garage collapse at Ascension St. Vincent's Hospital Riverside. Sky 4 flew above the damage yesterday afternoon, soon after it happened. Yeah, luckily, no one was injured, but still the lengthy investigation begins now. News for Jackson reporter Scott Johnson spoke with a forensic engineer who determines what causes engineering accidents. And so Scott is joining us live tonight in Riverside. I wanted to get her perspective on what crews are going to do now to try and determine what caused this because there's a concern. It's not just a concern that this happened. It's a concern. Are there other weak spots in and around this parking garage? Rebecca ago, Bowman is an engineering expert with the National Society of Professional staff. Engineers. She used to live in Jacksonville and now is in Pennsylvania. One of her areas of expertise is forensic engineering, meaning she determines what happened when accidents like the parking garage collapse happen. She says it's quite possible whatever caused the collapse had been getting worse for a long time. It is far more common that there is a gradual failure, a gradual accumulation of damage, for example, uh, rather than the, a, a single sudden catastrophic failure. Um, and so the video might show you a sequence. Bowman says the scene needs to remain isolated, kind of like a crime scene, while engineers systematically figure this out using everything from surveillance video to inspecting fasteners and sections of concrete. Uh, one of the first things I would do is um, obviously freeze the site. So it can't be entered, can't be altered. And I'm sorry for the people whose cars are there, but they need to stay there for now. Um, then I would probably go and check to see if there were any security cameras in the area that would give me a running film of the failure. Oh my God. One thing that was speculated in the hours after the collapse is whether water damage deteriorated concrete and the rebar embedded in it. But Bowman points out water damage is not the only potential cause. There are an infinite number of failure sources. Um, it can be anything from a fastener failure uh, to a, a defective concrete installation initially to undersized rebar compared to the plan, um, excessive loads on the structure. Um, there may have been wind damage that came through and weakened something. Tonight, we're also hearing from the construction company that built the garage, Batson Cook, and here's a statement from them. Batson Cook has not worked on this project since 2007. And as Jacksonville Fire and Rescue Chief Keith Powers had already stated, the inspection and continued upkeep of the parking structure are the responsibility of the owner. We are and will continue to assist the investigation. We stand by our work and our safety practices. We'd also like to extend our thanks to the first responders who, as this incident showed, rush to keep people safe daily. We are live in Riverside tonight. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, The Local Station.